Okay, so I had to zoom out a bit because I'm trying to avoid copyright on this one. The video is muted. We'll do what we can do. This is the worst offensive possession in the history of basketball. Drummond stands here for legit seven seconds. You'd think it'd be a handoff play to Chetty right there or a handoff play to Garland. Drummond looks them all off and then what? But what is the thought process here? First off, we got an Andre Drummond crossover, which I don't know how often that happens. You'd think he would then go up with the left hand. I mean, that is the natural motion after what he has done here. But he attempts a right-handed, what could have been a pass. If it's a pass, then it's honestly not as bad. But maybe it just slipped out of his hand. I don't know. But, I mean, what the hell? One question I have. Does this... Is that considered a Drummond offensive rebound? Because that's like seven of Drummond's rebounds every game anyway. The other thing that I think we can look at too with this one is the fact that once this guy is eventually, once Garland makes his move out of there, couldn't you just go with a straight right-hand drive? I mean, he crosses over into traffic when it could have just been a straight line drive the entire time, you know what I mean? Let's see, what do we got? Thought he was brawn for a second, would have had a flagrant two called if that were the case. Does that mean that the like the other team it would have got called because it was LeBron driving? Then we got Wob ruining the fun. This is indeed funny, but unfortunately it was Brandon Clark who sent the ball in the air like that. We're, we're just going to ignore that one. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take and 100% of the ones that look like this. That's a solid tweet. 650 likes, how many followers this guy have? 115, it's a quality tweet. You know a weird thing with Twitter that I've noticed? Having a huge tweet does not get you followers. Like, the amount of times that I'll see, like, something trending, somebody has a tweet that pops off, gets, like, 100,000 likes, you check it, they have, like, 100 followers. And we got the art guy coming in. This guy has one of the better gimmicks on Twitter, but you also have to follow him in order to get the gimmick, or else you do what I do and look down replies like a weirdo. Uh, but even so, it's good. 